Justin, I need your opinion on something. Whatever it is, do the opposite. Now hold on a second. I'm getting into voice acting. You tell me which one of these is better. This should be interesting. Try out World Anvil today. The online set of world building tools that help writers and game masters create, organize, and store their worlds. Actually, that's not too bad. Honestly, I'm impressed. It's got wiki-like articles, interactive maps, historical timelines, and an RPG campaign manager. Wow. That... That was something. It's got 25 world building templates and doubles as a novel writing software. Dang. It's got family trees and bloodlines, organization charts, diplomacy webs, world building prompts, and random generators. Hey. You trying to steal my thunder? No, I was just reading off their website. Leave the reads to me. Build, secure, and showcase your world with World Anvil. Click the link in the description or go to worldanvil.com and use the promo code MANSHORTS to get 40% off any of the annual memberships. Man Shorts. As if Florida being generally terrible isn't enough of a headline this month. I thought we'd throw some more data on the pile in this, our 15th iteration of the Goat Rodeo that is Florida edition. You'd think we'd run out of content at some point. Do you watch the news? Let's just play this game before our governor bans it. Everyone roll initiative. Nine. Fourteen. Nineteen. Waylon, how do we start? <sighs> All right. I would like to drink until about 2.30 a.m. and then break into my local Joe's Crab Shack. Give me a breaking and entering check. 22. You easily make your way through an unlocked window. What is your goal here? Well, I'm just gonna steal some stuff. Yeah, mostly alcohol. Cool. In that case, Sarah, let's- Wait a minute. I wanna do one more thing before I go. What? I'm gonna poop on the floor. Wow. That is... Disgusting. Insane? I was going to say stupid. You do realize that by doing that, you're effectively leaving your DNA at the crime scene. <laughs> Sarah, let's go. I'd like to call a lawyer. I need help suing Kraft Heinz. And what prompted this lawsuit? False advertisement. The Velveeta microwave cheese says ready in three and a half minutes. This already sounds ridiculous. Are you asserting that it takes longer than three and a half minutes to cook in the microwave? That's how long it takes to cook. The box says ready in three and a half minutes. What about all the other steps? What steps? Opening the packet, adding water. All that stuff takes time. Give me a retainer check. 18. You managed to find an attorney who's willing to take on the case. Not that that's much of an accomplishment in this state. We'll see. Lance? I'm going to head down to the local Publix. Need some groceries or are you... Um, I'm going to rob it. I assume you have a gun? Nope. But if I put a stapler in my pocket and hand the cashier a note that says I have a gun, I should be fine. Give me an intimidate check. Ten? She reads your note and then promptly starts helping an employee do something. That's, that's probably not good, right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm gonna go. You're just gonna leave empty-handed? I'm not empty-handed. I have a stapler. We're back to Waylon, who I imagine can't do anything worse. I'm going to creep around and stare in people's windows. That might be the fastest I've ever been proven wrong. Why are you doing that? Oh, you know. Uncontrollable urges. I don't know. Give me a prowler check. Four. Yeah, someone called the police, who find you hiding in a tree immediately. After resisting, you're arrested. How much is my bond? A thousand dollars. Sweet. I'll just bail out and get back to business. Gotta love recidivism. Sarah, any more lawsuits? Not today. I'm gonna go swimming in a canal. That's bizarre. Um, a concerned citizen calls the cops who show up and direct you to vacate the canal. Then I'm gonna climb into the storm drain pipe. Give me an evade authorities check with disadvantage. 20 and 6. The police ultimately rescue you from the sewer drain. That's the third time in two years they've saved me out of the sewer. Y y you've done this before? Oh yeah. The first time I was down there for three weeks. I survived on an unopened can of ginger ale. So it sounds like you have a history of this kind of behavior. I don't know. But I do know between 2007 and 2020, the cops suspended my license 17 times. Now what? Well, I'm stuck in a traffic jam and I finished my podcast, so I'm going to get naked and run around in traffic. Mm. 
Give me a perform check. 11. From what you can tell, most people seem pretty offended. A woman in a minivan shields her child's eyes as you jog by. Is there an 18-wheeler nearby? Sure. There's a flatbed semi-truck in the middle lane. I got a 24 to climb on top of it and generally raise hell. You succeed in dancing on top of an 18-wheeler in a traffic jam in the rain. I'd also like to point out that even though I'm naked, except for my shoes, at some point, it will appear that I'm wearing a thong. Weird detail, but okay. Waylon, how would you like to finish this disaster? I'm going to park my car on the side of the road and take a nap. Your car is blocking the bike lane, and the police have arrived and approached your vehicle. <sighs> I'm pulling my sword. I, I'm sorry, what? That's right. I've got a three-foot sword with a dragon handle. I keep it in my center console. The police attempt to tase you and are unsuccessful. That's probably the myth. It doesn't matter. Eventually, they'll arrest you. And to no one's surprise, when they do, they find weed, meth, and a glass pipe in your car. <laughs> oh, Florida man. Sarah? I'm outside of a hospital with a baseball bat. That sounds dangerous. Give me a perception check. Fifteen. There's an elderly man who appears to just be chilling on a nearby bench. I'm going to hit him in the head with a baseball bat. Nat 20. The man grabs the bat and runs inside to report you. I'll just follow him in and then pretend he attacked me. The police arrive. They'll need your name for booking. Tupac Shakur. End it. I stole a truck a few days ago, so I'd like to drive it to Patrick Space Force Base. Why? Well, the president told me that I needed to steal the truck so I could warn government officials about the United States aliens fighting against the Chinese dragons. Uh-huh. And how did the president tell you this? Oh, through my mind. Give me a sanity check. Nat one. You're arrested, not nearly soon enough, and we are finally done with this session. Florida's always fun. <laughs> it's less fun in real life. Yeah, it's getting pretty rough. We might not even play Florida for a while. Oh, please. That thread is emptier than our public school library bookshelves. Speaking of shelves... Next week is going to require quite the build. This already sounds ridiculous. Southern quiz. See if anyone can figure out from the clues what the shirt is about. <laughs> Sue and Kraft Heinz. How do I make the thing appear? I was going to say, I can do it now. I just needed to figure out how to make it go away. The Velveeta... Microwave cheese. We're back to Waylon, who I imagine can't do anything worse. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna park my car on the side of road. On the side of road. Is it Velveeta microwave cheese, or is yeah. it just Velveeta? I think it's Velveeta microwave cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's even better. Who even bought that in the first place? <laughs> the clerk. I'm gonna say cashier so it doesn't feel like I'm going to like the mom and pop store down in Mayberry. But I do know between 2007 and 2020, the cops suspended my license. It do be like that though. It'd be like, Glen County man has license suspended for the 14th time and it's like, is anybody doing anything about that guy? I should be golden. That actually sounds more like me than I just talked. I have friends who got, like, arrested with a joint in their pocket and got, like, 18 months of jail. Meanwhile, this dude just, like, keeps breaking the law over and over, and they're like, Mr. Jones, is this another DUI? This is the sixth DUI I've seen you for. To Sarah and Waylon. <laughs> it's really introspective. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so messed up. I might do this if I ever got robbed. Just be like, all right, and go do something. Like, it's so funny. Let's just play this game of, I like fuzzies. You're just. But I do know between 2007 and. <laughs> <laughs> do I get advantage on this for being from Jacksonville? <laughs> a woman in a minivan shields her. A ch These are sugar free. Those icebreakers? Yeah. Welcome to Flavortown. <laughs> That's raised in hell, right? Oh yeah. Do you want me to do it again? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't say I'm still drunk. No. I assume I'm not. I feel like someone just like pulled one of the wires out of my brain <laughs> and something is like, like all of a sudden I've just like half my brain is like 
What, was he naked at the start of the video and then just a thong appeared halfway through? Like, what's the story right here? Bow, 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 bow. Mostly I'm fortunate that I've been able to ignore the coordinates. I got a history of being insubordinate, but what if he was gonna be when the fortune hits? Like, dang, he said he would do it and he really did it. He really committed. The kid wasn't kidding. We should have listened instead of calling him a degenerate. Been independent, I'm into administering a percentage of them in a dome. I'm winning attention again and again and I got him grinning when I enter the room. Bringing the boom. One of a kind, I'm not here to change your mind I'm here to remind you the finding the fire inside you is what's gonna keep you alive Lady like yo, ain't you like 35 years old? How you been living with the flow so cold? I tell them that I keep warm with my alchemist fire I stay warm with my alchemist fire Baby like yo, ain't you like 35 years old? How you been living with the flow so cold? I tell them that I keep warm with my alchemist fire I stay warm with my alchemist fire